What's up guys, um, Tommy here again, um, it's been a really uh, eventful and um, wonderful uh, weekend. I know my last video blog I was talking about, um, you know, some psycho basically um, trying to blackmail me. Well. Um, that's what started my weekend, um, but fortunately, um, with the help of some good friends of mine and whatnot, I, I had a, uh, I had an awesome weekend, um, it was kind of funny, I was, um, Thursday night, I was actually kind of bummed out because I thought I was going to miss the Arch Enemy Creator concert, um, Friday here at the Marquee. Um, I live in Arizona, in, sort of in case some of you don't know. Um, but anyways, so I thought I was going to miss the Arch Enemy Creator show, and um, a buddy of mine and his wife actually um, said that they would watch my son so I can go to the show, and the uh, show was awesome. And uh, I, I can't express enough thankfulness and stuff. I mean, um, very, very positive, you know, I, it's in this video. Um, everything's going to be positive. So just so you know, um, don't have anything bad to say about anybody. Uh, I, I actually, um, you know, I went with a really good friend of mine. Um, to the concert, to the Arch Enemy concert, and it's it was just, it was great to get out and go see that, and um, and then of course, I had the weekend pre-planned out probably, uh, I would say about three months ago, and um, it's really cool to plan out the Arch Enemy Creator concert, and then the following night, plan out a Slayer, Suicidal Tendencies, and Exodus concert. And, um, I must say, I, I think I like the Arch Enemy concert better, because there weren't any sound troubles or, you know, nothing like that. Um, the, the Slayer, um, is kind of frustrating, because we went to a big venue um, Saturday night for the Slayer concert um, it's called Com or Comerica Comer Comerica Theater something like that I don't know I'm not sure how to pronounce that if someone want to help me cool um, I'm not sure um, what the problem was exactly other than the fact that the sound was not coming through or what but I mean I figure a big venue like that should know whether or not they have any sort of sound difficulties and I would think they would have fixed them before the show would have started well not the case I paid fifty dollars per ticket it, it was a good show though I mean I, I could tell it was none of the band's fault because everybody played pretty fantastic. Um, um, I was a I was a little disappointed uh, with the Exodus set because they only played a half hour. They played like six songs or something like that. Um, Suicidal Tendencies played about forty five minutes and Slayer for about an hour and a half. Um, but a great show. Um, like I said, it was none of the band's fault, but things happen, I suppose. But to kind of top all that off, I mean, going with um, a really good friend of mine to both of those concerts, same friends, we both um, attended a concert back in 2009 um, by a, a little-known band called Sacred Reich. Um, and it was kind of crazy because at the time it was my friend's, one of his, like, favorite groups um he's got into the like heavier kind of darker you know death metal kind of stuff now but um he actually wanted to meet 
Phil from Sacred Reich and the rest of the Sacred Reich guys uh, that particular night. And this was like a day before his birthday. So that would have been kind of fitting if you if we would have met them before his birthday, right? Um, but anyway, five and a half years later, we both go to the Slayer concert, and we both run into Phil at the uh, around the men's restroom. Um, I got a picture with him. Um, he he, my friend did, but um, he's the one that took it though anybody has to know um, but th that was pretty awesome five and a half years later we finally meet Phil from Sacred Reich and that was kind of the highlight of my weekend and I mean I got to hang out you know with, with another friend you know the same the one I watched my son and whatnot so they bought me lunch you know it's just the little things in life, you know, you, you, you become really thankful for, and, you know, um, great friends are rare to find, and it's, that's the truth. I mean, I've had both of these friends, the one that watched my son and the one that went to me, or went with me to both concerts, I have known them for a long time. And it's just good to know that, you know, even if it's a, you know, a, a, a tale or whatever to say, you know, friendships last forever, you know, honestly, I think they could if people just, you know, stuck to it. And, you know, I, I never, I never argue with my friends or, you know, or nothing like that. I mean... It's 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 all laughs. It's all positive. It's all good things. You know, so it's it's pretty awesome. Like I said, and, and it's it's been it's been great. I mean, I almost feel I don't want to get too religious about this, but I almost feel kind of blessed in a way to know the people I know and to be at the right place at the right time, kind of thing like that. Um, and, and today, uh, you know, I haven't really done much. I did some yard work earlier, but it's been a relaxing kind of a day. And um, I, I can't, say, can't say enough about how awesome the weekend was. Um, so if, you, if any of you got good friends or, you know, great friends out there that you got, you really, really appreci um, appreciate Keep them, keep them close to you. You know, and then, then those, especially those that are willing to kind of just, you know, break their back for you. As to say, I don't, I don't want anybody to actually break their back now. But, um, but those that are willing to just, you know, sacrifice and, and to, you know, take their time to, you know make your time better on this earth you know I, I think those are the people you need to keep around you and don't push them away you know but sorry if this is a little boring but I just I can't you know my I, I shoot all my videos for the most part and you know maybe one or two shots um, I don't do any editing or nothing like that, because if I did, it'd probably be a heck of a lot shorter. Um, but, you know, I, I, I like to capture the rawness and, and even the emotion and stuff like that. So, um, I, I hope to get some more guitar videos. I know I said that in the last video. I'm sorry. Um, but with this kind of a weekend, you can't exactly get around to playing enough. So, um, until then, see you guys. Um, hope your weekends went well. Um, you can tell me how it went in the comment section. That'd be cool. Thank you.